there's a lot of insight you can get from data. Financial investing is about risk and reward. You want to measure your performance relative to an appropriate benchmark to see whether you're doing better or worse than average. That's common between finance and golf. Mark Brody has been a professor at Columbia Business School since 1983, and an avid golfer even longer. In 2005, he combined his passions and created a golf metrics program on his computer to analyze his own game. Soon after, he found flaws in the status quo statistics that existed. I didn't really have any thesis. I had questions. Traditional stats of fairways, greens, and putts, they just didn't have enough information to be able to answer questions like, what's the value of 20 extra yards on a drive? Once you measure a shot, you can then compare it over a season to see where do the best players gain strokes relative to average players. If you don't actually have shot-by-shot -shot information, there's no way you can answer that question. Fortunately, in 2003, the PGA Tour launched ShotLink Data, which captured every shot by every player. With his golf metrics program up and running, Brody persistently called the tour requesting access to the data so he could track the game's best players. It was an offer they couldn't refuse. Finally, in 2008, the tour partnered with Brody to create a new statistic, Strokes Gained Putting. What was their motivation for just wanting the data for putting? Well, if you missed the green and you chipped in, you got credit for zero putts, which made your putting look great, but it had nothing to do with your putting because it was a chip in. And that's where strokes gain putting originated. And you can do that for drives, approach shots, putts. All strokes gained is measuring performance relative to a benchmark. Did you hit a better than average shot or a worse than average shot? Over the next decade, more official strokes gained statistics were accepted into the PGA Tour's official records, revolutionizing how the game is evaluated today. What is it that's counterintuitive about what the most important aspects of the game are? Drive for show, putt for dough is the most famous expression in golf. Unfortunately, it's wrong. <laughs> the best players in the world are the best ball strikers. Roy McIlroy's driving is his weapon. He doesn't drive at 320 one week and 280 the next. He drives at 320 week after week after it's week. It's the least variable his, asset. It's the least variable asset, getting back to finance, whereas putting is, is more variable. If you just count 30-some putts out of 70-some shots, it seems like a lot. Well, if 14 of those are inside of two feet, they're tap-ins, there are no skill differences. They don't, they don't matter. They don't matter. And that's where approach shots really come to the fore. Strokes gain from 150 to 225 yards would That's be it. the number one indicator of success on tour. Peter, we're looking at some screens up here. I'm gonna see how I would do as one of your students. What are we looking at? Greens and regulation. Player A for the season was ranked 76. Player B was ranked first. Player B would have schooled player A. You would think. <laughs> The answer is player A. Roy McIlroy won 4.4 million in the 2020 season. Player B was Jim Furyk, and they both played in about the same number of events, so. Can you come up with examples of how your metrics have changed the way players are actually playing holes? So this is the fourth hole at TPC Sawgrass in 2004. Scoring average just, just under four, but there's different ways to play the hole. Well, almost everybody lays up, so if you lay up, you're conservative, 94% of the players make making par, but the guys who are aggressive, they pick up more than a quarter of a shot. The players can see this now. They can see the advantage of pushing the ball forward, and you get it to 2022, and more than four times as many are taking the aggressive approach. Conservative doesn't mean smart, and aggressive doesn't mean dumb. Sometimes aggressive play is the optimal play. Mark, if, uh, if you're trying to explain strokes gain data, there's got to be some example that just distills it all down as simple as possible. This is an example from TPC Sawgrass 2021, hole 11. It's a par 5. The scoring average is 4.6. So instead of thinking of being 535 yards away from the hole, think of Justin Thomas as being 4.6 strokes away from the hole, because that's the field average that day. Okay. 
An average shot would go from 4.6 strokes away to 3.6. Well, he didn't get to 3.6, he got to 3.4 because he was then 233 yards away from the hole in the middle of the fairway. So he was two tenths of a stroke better. And now his strokes gained is 0.2 because you got to subtract the swing that he took. So now we can move to his second shot. He's starting 3.4 strokes away from the hole, and he hit it onto the green 19 feet away, where the strokes the hole out is 1.9. So what was his progress to the hole? He went from 3.4 strokes away from the hole to 1.9, and that gained a half a stroke. And then finally, we have his putt. He sunk the 19-footer for eagle. He was 1.9 strokes away from the hole, and he went in the hole at the end, so he's zero strokes away. So he gained nine-tenths of a stroke with that great putt. He had an eagle, a three when the average score was 4.6. So we know he gained 1.6 strokes on the hole. This now breaks it down into 0.2 from the tee shot, 0.5 from the approach shot, and 0.9 for the putt. That adds up to the 1.6 he gained on the hole. We can see the various contributions of each kind of shot. To get answers, the right questions need to be asked first. And the man who first asked those questions when it comes to golf statistics is now sought after by some of the best players in the world. You've given the entire world of golf a better way to understand where the best players come from. You must take some pride in that. That was never a goal in my mind. But as an academic, my goal is to move forward in this marketplace of ideas, ideas that have application in the real world. Strokes gain allows other people to see and understand the game in a better and more interesting way.